Hi students, let's continue with the previous video. In the previous video, I had taken a task. So, uh, the steps that we need to uh, follow if you want to develop a task and what are the methods and constructors that we require. So, before watching this video, please try to watch the uh, the previous video, whatever I explained. So, that, that is the continuity of that video, right? So, here, now I am writing a program. So, I am writing the program step by step and I am going to explain each step. So, the program is copying data from one file to another file. How to copy the data from one file to another file? By using the streams, right? Okay. So, first you have to take import function. Import java.io.star. Okay. All input output functions are imported. Class demo. Okay. So, now call the met class is loaded open brace executed now call the main method public static void main string args okay so now so first we need to write the try block so in the try block we are writing the task if any task is error then it throws an catch exception right so first what what is the first step First step is open a file for reading. How to open a file for reading? To open a file for reading, we have to use file input stream, right? File input stream. Okay. So, write the syntax. File input stream. Object reference is FIS is equal to new file input stream. Input stream arguments 0 okay so this what it is doing it is open a file open a file for reading only open a file for reading okay whatever the abc.txt is there that i open for reading so what is the second step based on the condition what is the second step okay the second step here is we need to find out the file size. Okay. If you try to read then try to find out the file size so that you can allocate in RAM. So, how to uh, find out the file size? So, a file is going to return a size. So, return type is int. And is equal to the file input stream. What is op Whatever it is opened for the reading. So, that file input stream dot available. So, available is a method which is tell the size of the file. So, that size is copied into n. So, that is of integer. Suppose some 2 bytes, 4 bytes, 10 bytes. So, <laughs> excuse me. Whatever the size it is there, that is its copy. So, what is the use of this? Find out file size. Okay. I open the file for reading and I find out the file size. What I have to do? What is the next step? Next step is allocate memory in RAM. You have opened a file for reading and you find out the file size by using the available function. Now allocate a memory in RAM. How to allocate a memory in RAM? That is the RAM size is going to be measured in terms of bytes. So it is array of data byte. Let's take a reference B. New byte. Whatever the size here it is there. N. Simple that's it. Whatever the size it returns. So, you are going to create an object, okay, object B, reference, object, reference and with of size, array size, byte B is equal to new byte of N. What it is doing? Allocates memory in RAM. Okay, I read the file and then I find out the file by using available function and copy the size into N. And I allocate a memory, whatever the size is there, okay, into in RAM. So, B consisting of array size. Next, okay, allocate memory in RAM, whatever the size is there. Next is, we have to read the data from file. So, how to read the data from file now? Let me tell you. So, to read the data from file, you have to use FIS, which is a file input stream, which is open for reading. Okay, reference FIS dot read. So, how much I have to read? The file size which is allocated in the RAM. The memory that allocates in the RAM that we have to be read. Okay, 
So fs dot read b. So which is going to read data from file. Okay. After reading the data from file, what you have to do? Open another file for writing. So file for writing means what? File output stream is you need to be called. Okay. Now call the file output stream. File output stream. So take the object reference fos is equal to new file output stream. So the output stream consisting of two arguments. I already explained in the previous video. Whatever the constructors that you required. So the constructors that you required is string boolean. So what is a string? So the first argument whatever it is there that you are going to read true. Okay. So here this is used for. This is used for open file. Open another file. Another file for writing open another file for writing okay and this true what is this true indicates append append the data without overwriting append data without overwriting okay without overwriting this is what it happened okay i open the file for writing now i have what i have to do Okay, you open the file for writing, then try to write the data to a file. Because our task need to be completed, I have to copy the abc.txt into xyz. Okay, so after opening file for writing, write the data. So write the data into a file. How to write the data? Simply, whatever the file that you are open for reading. Okay, so fos, open for writing, fos dot, simply write. What I have to write? Whatever the memory that is allocated for RAM, in that only the data is there. Okay, B consisting of the size of a RAM. Okay, the size of the file that is present in the RAM. Okay, so that data you have to be write. So, FOS dot write. It is used to write data to a file. Okay, I have written the data to a file. Then finally, what I have to do? Try to close the both files. How to close the both files? Simply, okay, you can use F close. You can use F close. So, whatever the file that you are open, that is for reading and for writing, you can close that files, right? So, you can use F, uh, FIS dot close and FOS dot close, whatever for reading and writing. So, this is only the task that I had explained here, right? So, the file that you have used for you can write it here okay so anyhow if you if you try to close it fis dot close okay simply fis dot close you can write okay so what is the final task so if suppose any exception is occurred any exception is occurred what have to do so it has to throw the exception what exception catch exception e system dot error dot println e so if any exception is occur this is happen okay so this is the way you have to perform the task copy a file from copy the data from one file to another so how you are going to compile the program i'll explain the steps Open in the command prompt or in the Eclipse ID. So, if you are working on a command prompt, Java C, demo.java. So, in Eclipse, you can directly run. Okay. And you have to give the file names Java, demo. Okay. Try to give two files, demo.java, whatever the file that it is there. And you have to copy it into the another file, test.java. Demo.java file is a present file that you are going to copy it into the test.java. Okay. Whenever you have written this statement. So, next you in the command prompt, you just try to use start notepad type test.java. Then whatever the uh, code that is present in demo.java, that data is copied into the test.java. So, in the command prompt, java space demo 
demo.java space test.java. So the data that is present in demo.java is copied into test.java. If you want to observe directly, you can open the test.java. Otherwise, uh, in the command prompt itself, start notepad test.java. Okay. So this is the way you have to develop the task. Thank you.